Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Now I've got some good news. Patch 1.4.1 has released onto the beta testing branch. And it's added a whole bunch of things. It's one of the biggest patches to date. A lot of changes, but... There are a couple of changes that I find very, very interesting and ex I'm excited for. Because, as silly as it sounds, when I bring this up, one of the biggest issues I've had so far is that my character couldn't get married because, you know, he got too old. And from my understanding is that your character or characters can die of old age, or he could be randomly executed in battle. It hasn't happened yet, thank God, but it can happen. Arlek is... I guess Arlek is only, what, 62 or 65 thereabouts? Look. Arlek is... Heroes. Arlek. 68, so he's getting up there. I like that one of his friends is one of them, one of the people he's killed himself. So. Arlek is a member of the Scar, of the Scarbridge. A secret society based in the lands of the Batanians. He has a reputation for being devious. I feel devious and deceitful is a bad trait to have here. Because he's not deceitful, he's pretty straight, you know, he's pretty straightforward, pretty honest about what his intentions are. And if he captures someone and executes them, I wouldn't really call that being deceitful. And I don't really see how it's not honourable. Part of war. I would just see it as, you know, he's got no mercy, he's merciless, you know. So deceitful seems a very odd one to have. But the important thing is that he can get married now. And that any woman over a certain age can get married. So, we now get to pick a bride with any luck. Now, I'm going to focus on this a little bit in this video because we don't want to put it off. We need to, we need to get it done. He needs to start cranking, or she, his wife needs to start cranking out children so they can grow up. And we have some... Back up just in case the worst falls and they can carry on his lineage. So I need to find a suitable partner. Now I'm I wonder, can you marry into can you marry companions? I don't know. But I think what I should probably look at. I mean so far there is a couple of suitable people within Britannia. Then Derngill, because they've actually had children, and if I bring if I, before I deep dive into this, I just want to show who my original kind of choices were when I was originally looking to marry someone. I was pursuing this lady here, Waithen. She's sixty-two now, but she's now a part of. A faction, well, they betrayed us basically, so I do wonder that if I try to marry her, will their clan come back? I don't know. Is it worth doing? Not entirely sure. I could reach out, I mean, hell, could I reach out and, uh, Sturgia Para? She's the princess of the Sturgeons. <laughs> I would feel very, very bad about marrying into this, <laughs> marrying her because I've killed her entire family. She's literally the last one left because I've killed every single member. I don't think it's wise to marry her. But I could potentially look at doing it. But it just seems a bit weird. <laughs> I wouldn't have to get permission off her father or anything like that because he's not alive. As grim as that sounds. Oh, 
idea. So again, I could go to the Western Empire somewhere, find someone I could marry, and, you know, maybe have them come back. But really, out of all the Batanian clans, there's not really any choice. Because there's no females in most of these clans, with the exception of this one. And I feel she may be too old to bear children. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. I know that I couldn't marry after a certain age, so... I'm thinking maybe my best option is to lock in the guys that we have in Britannia at the moment so we don't lose them and take it from there. At which case, if I'm going to do that, I need to go and find the lady. Who was it? Imola? Imola, where is she? Governor of Charis. Okay. I feel like she's my only option right now. And she's devious as well. We're like two peas in the pod. Although she's merciful. See, there is a merciful trait. So why don't I have that? All right. I mean, I would check out Caladog, but he doesn't have... He doesn't have a... Oh, wait, she, he, he does have a daughter. Oh, I could go for her as well. I could go for her as well and lock myself in with the main action. Oh, that is tricky. She is younger. She is younger. I mean, she's older, but that might work. Lock me in with the with Caladog. But Caladog's never going to leave the faction. There's a chance that Aragorn might. You know what I mean? So I feel like locking in this clan, which has got the most people, might be the way to go. Does he like me? Yeah, not too bad because I gave him castles. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Out of curiosity, where is she? I mean, hell, could I marry any of my companions? I would be curious. Governor of Jack. Okay. Alright, let's get a move on now. So we defended Garantor Castle by the look of it. Or we captured it. No, we captured it. Oh. Important. This patch also resets a lot of the two handed perks. So we need to go through this and check this out. And hopefully they stick, because before it wasn't sticking. Every time I'd pick, you know, Basha and then Swing Speed, done. And if I go back. They fixed it, okay. So let's look at these perks. We got strong grip, two handed weapons you wield have 10% better handling. Crucial damage against shields with two handed weapons. I'm not using, okay. I just want to quickly look through these in case there's like a way I can stack stats. Increase knockdown chance with two handed weapons. Knockdown chance. Ooh. 40% more damage. Okay, so there is a... Oh. You can deflect arrows with two-handed weapons while changing block positions oh my god sick wait why are they you can deflect arrows with two-handed weapons while changing block positions you can deflect arrows with two-handed weapons while changing block positions what is the difference here While I'm foot, while I'm foot, your speed damage bonus. Okay, that's when you're running and then you attack or extra hit points. Your attack ignores fifty percent armor. Oh, increase your two-handed weapon damage by ten percent. Every skill point after two hundred increases speed. 
I really like this new system. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so... I could increase my weapon handling, but to be honest, we could stack shield damage 30% here and another 40% there. We could potentially just kill shields in one or two hits, because you see me fight with people pulling up their shields. I'm having to struggle around it a little bit. I'm going to go with that. Okay, increase your swing speed, increase your two-handed axe and mace damage. I use axe, so... Okay, that's swing speed with swords. So again, we're going with axe. Troops in formation you are leading gain 5% for each enemy you killed. That's no longer troops within a certain uh, distance of you, vicinity. This is now everyone under your command if you're leading troops. So... I don't know if that means if I'm out on my own in a, in a party or if I'm a part of an army... And I get to, you know, lead like uh, cavalry or infantry or whatever. Five experience for each enemy you kill isn't bad, especially if we're doing like a, a you know, a city defense and I get a hundred kills. But that's mostly with bows. But the idea of knocking someone down with my axe sounds pretty damn cool, so I'm gonna go with that instead. We're gonna go with the shield breaker here because I'm not really gonna be trying to kill mounts with my axe anymore. Okay, increase your damage with two-handed weapons, okay, when hit points are below 50%. Or increase your damage with hit points are above 15. Now, this is a tricky one because... Okay, 20% when hit points are below 50. I take a lot of damage in these fights. I don't look after myself very well, so I'm going to go with that. You can deflect arrows, Spartan or Knightly Management. I don't understand what the difference is between these, but I'm going to go with this Knightly Management purely because sword stuff has been on the top bar and axe stuff has been on the bottom. So maybe that's for like axes and swords, but it doesn't actually say yet. So I'm going to go with Knightly Management. Although you figured a knight would have a sword rather than an axe, but... Your two-handed kills... With two-handed weapons have a 20% higher effect on enemy troops battle morale or your okay so i could increase the morale of my troops 30 percent for every kill because i kill a lot of people but if you look at my fights we've rarely ever had anyone retreat maybe one or two people but it's never been that much we've had more enemies retreat from battle because we've broken their morale so i think i'm going to go with a terror perk here and Reckless Charge. While on foot, your speed damage bonus with two-handed weapons by 20%. You gain five hit points. Now, this is a tricky one. I'm currently sitting pretty at 113 hit points. And I have the perks that increase it, you know, by percentage. Tiny percentage, but it's still an increase. So if I was running at someone and I swung my weapon, I'd get 20% more damage. But I think I'm going to go with Thick Hides. Keeping my health, health up is pretty important, and that's about as far as I can go with this. Okay. Done. And... 118 points. Okay. So my... That's not too bad. Okay. Okay. They also added some things in this patch, like... Uh, you can now make your own kingdom. I'm assuming the button's going to be up here. If I didn't have this leave kingdom button. If I was in the part of Britannia. You can now make your own clan. Which is pretty nice. You can also... What? You can also propose to make peace or go to war. As well. Paying tribute. What is tribute? 15k. Trying to make... I don't understand what these are. Receiving. Receiving? Okay, paying. Okay. That obviously looks broken. But I'm going to try it just to see what happens. Propose. What do you mean? No, there's no one there. Yes, it's time to make peace. <gasps> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so... Clearly that was a bug, and... Clearly, the game didn't like that. It crashed on me. Which is fine. I don't need half a billion... Gold. If I'm honest. I don't need half a billion. Um, in fact, I can probably make peace with... Southern Empire and Vlandia and basically bring it up to a billion in total. In fact, what I think happens, if I'm not mistaken, is that this money gets split between everyone. How many zeros is that? So it's actually two bill a two billion two point one billion. So I'm guessing that money gets split among everyone. So the majority of it goes to the ruler, the rest gets split among the other clans. So we ended up with half a bill, probably me and Aragon. <laughs> so that's what I'm guessing. But I don't want to crash my game again, so we're not going to do that. And I don't need the money. I think it's broken, but maybe that's the result of just like, you know, completely annihilating a faction to the point that we've got no one left. Imagine if we did this every time, like, made peace, and then they go to war again, and then we'd make peace again. Easy money. But what do I need money for at this point, if I'm honest? I've got 13 mil, it's more than enough. There's nothing I could possibly want, with the exception of leveling up my smithy by buying the most expensive items and smelting them down. But uh, as I was trying to say, you can create a new kingdom now. You can propose and... You can propose... Peace and declare war, or propose to declare war. So these are nice little fixes and options they've added to the kingdom windows. Now, a wife. Let's let's get on with that. She's supposedly at Charis. Let's have a look. And if I wanted to marry into Caladog's, if I wanted to marry into Caladog's family, I'd have to go over here. So again, I mean, part of me wonders, man, how does that work? Like, if I were to marry into Caladog, Caladog's uh, family, then leave Britannia, then kill everyone in Britannia, like all of Caladog's clan apart from my wife, does that mean she becomes queen and then I get to be king? Is that the way to go about this? Hmm. I still remember the early days of Caladog that I've not forgotten. Now, I'm curious, are there any... Let me talk to her, because I'm curious if you can marry... Anions, that kind of thing. No, she just wants to join me, but what about the ones already in my company? Can I just marry the tavern maid? Alright. I think ruler parties are now stronger as well. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, I can recruit mercenaries right from here. Oh, yes, please. Oh, this game keeps getting better and better. This game keeps getting better and better. Look at that. Recruited. Mercenaries, thank you. Don't have to go into the tavern anymore. Beautiful. Wait, she's not here. If she's governor, where... He, wait, what? Did she get replaced? What is this? Tanya. Where is she? On guard. Oh, on guard. Okay. The uh, on guard castle is... Is... Over there. Okay, so we gotta go up this way anyway. Let's go... Let's go have a chit-chat to the other lady. Let's just have a quick chit chat. 
See, now I'm wondering now about my ambitions of, do I try to become king of Britannia? Or at least briefly, like... But what happens if we wipe out? Oh, I can't. Can I leave and wipe him out? I don't know. It's I'm thinking about wiping out. Like, he hasn't got a very big family. Let's have a look at his family. Child. I would need to kill... I would need to kill this guy. Take him out. Because he will probably be next in line to be king. So... And he's younger than me, so he'll outlive me. But... If he were to... If I were to leave Britannia, kill him. Rejoin. And then marry his daughter. Or marry his daughter beforehand. She would become the queen. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Do I really want the aspirations of becoming king of Britannia at this point? Probably not. I feel like locking in this place so they don't leave is going to be the way to go. Who's her father? Her father is... Yeah, this is a big family. These guys are keeping us in the fight at the moment because... They're another clan. It's not just me and Caladog. You know, they're making this work. So I think I'm going to go and join with them. Anyway, we'll continue this next time. Until then, thank you for watching.